Hey guys, welcome back. Now, in my travels all over the Middle East, I found this one dish which I really loved a lot. And most of you know, I have a set of sweet teeth. I just love sweets. So I have always enjoy eating baklava. And you know, I find it quite interesting. I find them nice small pieces, but to bite into the whole flavors are so nice. They're crunchy, they are uh, crisp, they're slightly sweet, and have a very nice and nut flavor with them, which I just adore. So I'm going to show you how I make baklava at home which is a very simple way of making it. In fact, it is the fastest way you'd ever get to make a baklava. So let me show you how. For baklava, you need a very few ingredients. The base for a baklava is basically going to be either vermicelli or katafi or a filo, which is a filo dough, which is thin sheets of flour, which is literally almost translucent. So you can buy this ready-made in the market. It works well. You also get the katafi sheets in the market, which you can also use. I'm going to use a filo here because I find it very easy to use. Now, you can get this filo in supermarkets. So all I do is uh, transfer that onto the board. But be very careful, this one has almost uh, cracked or broken while taking it out. These are very, very thin sheets of flour, which have been, uh, or thin sheets of dough, which have been rolled out, literally paper thin. That's what they are like, but they're extremely fragile. Now, they cook very, very fast. So you've got to be very careful with the temperatures and how you cook it. So all you do, now, like I said, this is a very quick one to do at home, a very simple one. All you do with a knife is basically cut them into roundels. Now, if they break up, it's not really a problem. Or do it around half a centimeter thick so they'll be easy to hold and they'll cook fast also. Now this is the trick you must use at home. Very, very simple. I've got a baby a muffin tray. So these are with small indents. And all you do is lift up the rounds, put them in the center of your tray. So literally arranging them to go in the middle. So what this does is it actually holds the shape of the filo. So you get like rounds, uh, even sizes, and it's very easy to cook and easy to pick up. Place the filo in the center of the bowl, and you can see they all holding shape quite well. Now what we're going to do in this is we're going to lightly baste this with butter. So butter, when you add to a filo, when you bake it, it gives it a very nice kind of a crunch and a nice crust, and it uh, gives a very nice flavor to it. So all I do is uh, I just spoon a little bit of butter onto the spirals of filo. Also when you add the butter on it, uh, it helps not just to cook evenly and nicely, it gives a nice flavor, but also very easy to remove from the roasting tray. Now this goes into a preheated oven at 180 degrees centigrade or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 5 to 6 minutes till the filo spirals are nice and crisp and golden. Filo spirals are now ready and as you can see the edges are nice and golden and brown. They are too hot right now to actually handle, you not just uh, hold your fingers but they'll also tend to break. So let them stay in the muffin bowl for a good five to eight minutes for it to cool down. And then we're going to make the baklava. So baklava bases are now ready and you can see the cool down. And let me show you how easy it is. And look at that. That nice and light and crisp. They literally become like little baskets, but each layer is quite distinct on its own. So it's quite nice. You know, when you eat a baklava, when you bite into it, there's a very nice crunch. And then there's the sweetness comes through. And then there's the nuts. It really is a palate uh, Tickler in many ways. It really opens the palate and gives a very nice kind of a mouthfeel. And this is because of the way the sheets are cooked. Now this has come out extremely well. Now at the moment they have no flavor at all. They're just plain sheets of filo which have been cooked. What we do now in that is we actually sweeten the baklava, the first process. So I have actually made a sugar syrup. It is just basically, you can use any spice, right? From cinnamon to star anise to fennel to cardamom. You can put them all into water, add sugar. So equal parts of water and sugar, bring it to a boil. Let it stay for a good couple of hours into the liquid and cool down and then you strain it off. So what you get is a very nice kind of a flavored uh, sugar syrup. You can use orange blossom water also to flavor. It uh, is quite nice. It goes with the baklava. You can use rose water. Even that works very well. It just needs to be very aromatized and nicely flavored or rather spiced with the uh, spices, your sugar syrup. That gives it a new dimension 
to your baklava. So I've got mine ready. I always keep some in my home, in my fridge. And all I do is just drizzle a little. You don't want to add too much because if you add too much, the pastry becomes a bit soggy. So just a wee bit to give it that sugar or the sweetener or the flavor of the sugar to it. Now we're going to start plating up our baklava, making it look even better. You can literally lift them off from the muffin tray. The edges might uh, break a bit, but that is fine. I've got an offset spatula to help me take it off. Our baklava shells or the bases are on, the, on my chopping board. And now all I do is I'm going to garnish that with some pine nuts. You can put maybe two or three pine nuts in each. I'm going to put pistachio. Pistachio and baklava really is like magic. And again, I just love roses, so I'm going to add a few rose, dried rose petals. There's something very nice about going into an Arabic sweet shop and you see all these wonderful uh, baklavas lined up row after row. And they're all so beautiful looking and uh, colorful. But uh, just the aromas, are also so inviting and when you actually bite into it and as I start thinking of it I've already begun to salivate because I, I enjoy them so much uh, but as you go in and you bite into it you get the delicious uh, sweetness coming through the nuttiness of the fruits coming of the dry fruits coming through and the crunch of the baklava I just think it is one of the one of my favorite desserts or pieces of uh, small bites to eat the baklavas are all ready I'm now going to put it onto a plate ready to serve it. Again, a very quick recap. It's basically uh, phyllo sheets, cut them into roundels, so no need of shaping it or whatever. Put it into uh, small baby muffin molds, little melted butter, bake it in the oven at 180 degrees centigrade, 350 degree Fahrenheit for approximately six to seven minutes until they're nice and golden. Take it out, let them rest for a while, and then all you do is um, add a little sugar syrup, and then top it up with dry fruits of your choice. Now what you get is literally a wonderful bite full of flavor. Sometimes when I feel like having a small little bite to eat, this is what I will do, instead of having a very large dessert. Just take a couple of them and your sweet cravings go away. So make sure you try it at home, make it for your friends and family, and do not forget to tag me. This is my simple take on a baklava.